To begin, have your students research a topic they've encountered that they might want to learn more about. For this exercise, I'm going to use Christopher Columbus, and we'll start by making a chart showing the differences. Next, we'll look for some images that represent both sides. When searching for images on Google, I'm specifically going to look for large images and ones that are labeled for reuse with modification. For the sake of this exercise, I'm assuming that we've already done research and readings with primary text and that we've verified the sources of these images. I'll save these onto my computer in respective folders. Next, I'll open up Photoshop and create a new document. For this project, I'm going to set it up as a landscape print document using this preset here. I'm currently using the Essentials workspace, and I'd recommend keeping your history panel open while you're working so that you can backtrack if needed. If you've lost any of your panels, you can either open them up individually, or you can reset your Essentials workspace. I'll bring each of my images in using File, Place Embedded to place them directly onto my canvas. This brings them in as a smart object so that I can scale them multiple times without losing any quality. Make sure that you're also naming your layers and keeping them organized as you import. I'm also going to create two folders to group them so that I can stylize these later. I'll start by resizing and rearranging them on my canvas. To move, scale, or rotate an image once you've placed it, select the layer and press Command T on a Mac or Control T on a PC to bring up free transform. Some images might need to be trimmed a bit. In Photoshop, we try not to delete parts of an image. We call that destructive editing. Instead, we'll cover up parts using a layer mask. One of my favorite new tools in Photoshop is the Object Selection tool. To use this, simply create a rectangle around what you're trying to select, and Photoshop's AI will make the selection for you. It works fairly well, but occasionally you might need to add or subtract from the selection. You can combine the Object Selection tool with any of the other selection tools in Photoshop, holding down Shift to add to the selection, and Option or Alt on a PC to subtract from the selection. Once you have the part of the image you want to keep selected, press the Layer Mask button in the Layers panel. You can think of a layer mask as an opaque piece of paper with cutouts that you put on top of the layer. White areas are cut out or will show the image underneath, and black areas are hidden or covered. In our next tutorial, we'll talk about how to add some image adjustments and text.